Hello everybody, this is Paul. Um, I'm doing this video uh, more for the folks that um, are questioning or curious about how I set up my little mist separator um, on on Facebook for hornblasters.com. Um, I put a link in the or in the uh, comments on their wall for a a air mist separator um, on that you can find on Amazon. Um, I'll throw a link down in the description here or and on this video for where to get it. Um, this is the little separator. I, I, in one of my previous videos, I have a, um, a air filter um, that, ta that took out to about 40 micron in, in uh, overall size. But um, this one actually gets down to 0 0.01 micron. This thing is the best of the best. And you can see, I got a good amount of water in there. I have not emptied this in quite a while. But uh, here's my setup. So pretty much, the, my original tank to the system was this two-gallon tank and a Viair 280C that came with it. Um, I wanted a little more oomph to it, so I built this platform, and I actually no longer have the 280C on my system here. I have a 400C and a 480C. Um, I was able to get the 480C for really inexpensive. Thank you and shout out to Manny at Horn Blasters for getting me set up with that 480C. But pretty much we got the two liter hoses coming out of the compressors, this, and they go into a set of uh, 3 8 inch pipes that come into here. Um, you'll notice this fitting right here. This is so I can um, air up my system uh, with a large uh, wall large like 17 gallon air compressor I have one of those and so I have it set so I could hook the air hose up to it and open this valve allowing the air to go into the system while getting filtered so the air comes in from either one of these ports coming through here into the air mist separator and then comes in here to my my five gallon air tank give you a different angle here um, so it can either it goes into my five gallon or come back over here to my two gallon uh, and just focusing on the uh, filter for right or on the uh, separator for right now uh, this thing is really amazing because all you have to do to empty it is just jump is press that button pretty hard it it has quite a bit of pressure on it right now I think I got about 120 pounds in the system right 120 100 and 30 pounds in the system right now but um sorry about the wind it's it's a howler today but uh that air mist separator i have not had to take apart my air system and let it air out since i installed that it literally has been the end of my shocker squawking like yeah my shocker squawks every once in a while but it they all do that but never once when i've actually honked like for more than a second has never once have i heard my shocker squeak since then um if you set it into your car's uh, alarm system and you hit the lock button so it just chirp honks like that it will probably squeak once or twice but do not be disheartened um this separator is still doing its job and uh it like i said it's the end of it will be the end of your shocker squeaking incessantly. Um, if you want to um, want me to walk you through how to set up a something like this for your own system, uh, feel free to throw a comment down below, and I can probably get in touch with you to see if we can show you how to walk through your setup or something like that. So. Throw comments and questions down in the in down below, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.